So how do you go about installing new fonts on your Apple computer? Let's get into it. All right, for everyone that watches my videos, you know I do a lot of educational videos, so today's no different. I wanna do you know, a quick video on how to actually add some of these cool fonts to the Mac, Mac OS you know, ecosystem, I guess. If you're using an Apple computer, like a Mac Mini, a MacBook Pro, um, iMac maybe, and you wanna go ahead and use some of these really kind of cool, you know, cool looking fonts back here, but they're not kind of, you know, they're not on your system right now. And when you, when you buy a new Apple system, it comes with so many different fonts you can use. A lot of them are more standard. You obviously get some called impact and you get some unusual, more unusual fonts, but for the most case, you don't get, you know, 10,000 different fonts you can use. So what I'm gonna teach you today is how to use Fontbook, um, which is actually built into the Mac OS system. And I'll show you where you can get some cool fonts from that you can trust how to download them, how to install them, and then actually open up some program like Keynote and see them in there so you can start using them. So it's gonna be a short video. Um, just wanna show people how to do it. A lot of people may already know this, and if you do, you might wanna watch, may not wanna watch at that point, but just trying to help people out because a lot of times people just think, oh, those are the fonts on my system, that's all I can use, or even they just don't know how to do it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show people here really quickly how to do it. Let's go. The very first thing I want to show you is Fontbook. So go down to your launch pad down here. Look for an icon called Fontbook. There it is right there. It looks like that and click on it. You just want to get familiar with this because this is where you're going to actually see all your different fonts that you have. So it's really easy to get familiar with to tell you the truth. So up here, if you can look up here in the upper left hand corner, the two things I really want to show you is all fonts and then user because user is where you're going to add some collections later. But all fonts are going to have all your fonts on your system. And if you look in here, there's some that are actually going to be bolded and some that are grayed out. The ones that are bolder, bolded are active. And, uh, you know, if you go ahead and pull up something like Keynote, you know, those should show up because they're active. The ones that are going to be um, not, that are not highlighted are, are inactive. So these are a lot of times different languages, but sometimes Catalina adds different fonts that you have to actually activate. So if you see something in here that you actually want that's not active it's not great it's grayed out you just have to click on it over here on the left hand side and then up here on the right it says download and you just click the download button and follow the instructions and then eventually it'll be highlighted over here and that means that it's added it to your system so that's one thing you want to know about but these are all the different fonts that you have and you can just click on them and see what, what they actually are in here there's braille and you know you name it you know obviously the the standard um, aerial narrow but a lot of times there's only you know let's say there's like a hundred fonts that Apple gives you and it's kind of limited so what I want to show you today is uh, how to add your own and again, if I go click on user, these are some that I've added. So, you know, I'll show you in a second how to do this. But, you know, like there's some really, you know, handwriting ones, unique ones, sketch one. Look at this one. This one's kind of actually really cool to use if you did something, you know, just on YouTube and you wanted to have a, that kind of a look. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So stay tuned for that. And uh, let's get into it. I'm going to show you a couple of different sites, how to add them. And uh, it's really that easy. All right, so now where do you get some cool fonts? Now there's tons of places out there. If you search for like Apple fonts online and stuff, you can get to them, but sometimes you just can't trust them. So I like to start people off with some of the, the trusted places you can go. So pull up like Chrome or pull up Safari and you can look for a place, you know, look for Google fonts and Google fonts will come up and it'll look just like this. Now it's gonna list just literally you know, hopefully a thousand or something fonts in here that you can actually scroll through like this and you can actually look for the font that you want. A lot of them are very basic, but as you scroll down, you're going to see as they load in, a lot of them get more and more non-basic. So the one over here looks more like a handwriting. I don't know if you can see my cursor here. So what you do is you click on that like that. And, uh, and then, you know, what it'll say up here is download family. See it up here in the upper right hand corner and go ahead and click that and it's going to download it down here and it's going to be a zip file so that's pretty straightforward so all you do is you you know let me just close this browser so i, I selected that font and i go down here and i went into finder um, let's go to downloads and here it is so i just it's called covered by your grace and now it's a zip file all you have to do here is you want to go ahead and double click on it there you know open up the zip file as you can see i usually go in and you know i always move this to the trash right away the zip file but i keep the folder that i just created if you go into that folder though, you're gonna see you know, a couple different things in here. Um, one's a text file, one's a T, TF file. All you wanna do is you wanna click on, um, sometimes there are different, uh, different types of files and I'll show you those in a second. But this one, this is the actual file right here that you wanna go, this is obviously just a text file. So what you wanna do is you wanna right click on it and then you wanna go open with and then you wanna click font book default 10.0, that's on Catalina. So you click that like that. And then over here, it opens up this. I'll move this to the beginning. And then you click this little button down here called Install Font, just like that. 
And uh, what it does is it installs it, as you can see. So now if I go back to, it automatically pulled up a font book here. And uh, you can see that, you know, it's going to be under all fonts. But if I go back down to user, which I showed you earlier, it's going to show that it was added there as well. And that's kind of where you keep track of the ones you've downloaded. But as you can see, it, you know, go in here like this. It's called Covered by Your Grace. Here is everything in here. So, that, you know, we've added that really quickly. Um, now to prove that it's been added, you can go into something like Keynote. And let's go ahead and open this up. And let's go ahead and open up a presentation file here. And let's just say we're going to go over here now to the right, pick a file that we want to have. Um, and now what we want to do is look at, there it is, covered by your grace right there. So click on that. Now we can go, this is a test. To, there we go. So that font was added. I can use it in stuff like Keynote, iMovie, anything you want to add it into. Now that font is live on my system and it lives there. So that's how you do that. All right, so this site is actually called dafont.com. So it's dafont.com. Again, there's hundreds out there. You just have to pick one that you actually trust. I'm not here to tell you which one's a trust, but I mean, if you go into sites like this, you can see that there's literally hundreds of really kind of unique ones that you can actually get probably nowhere else. I mean, look at this one here. I mean, look at this Moon Cheese one here. So what you do is you actually go to Moon Cheese. Over here on the right, there's a download button. Same, same exact system. I downloaded that. It's going to be a zip file. I see it down here as a zip file. All I have to do then is go into Finder. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. Here it is, Moon Cheese up here. I'm going to double click on it to open up that zip file. Um, and this time it's actually, you know, just move the file, didn't even create a folder, just move the file right here. So I just right click on the file, open with font book 10.0, and there it is. And then down here I click install font, click that. Now again, this says problems may have been found with some of the font during validation. Please review the reported problems before continuing. So let's go and click that, install checked, and let's see if that gets added. That was the first time I saw that actually, and I don't know why it did that error message, but it still added it, so it still worked. So let's go back now, and let's go ahead and minimize this, and let's go into Keynote. Let's just see if it got added in here. So let's say I want to go ahead and edit this here. Let's go into the font down here. There it is, Moon Cheese in my list. So now I can go... There it is. So it was added to there, and it's that quick. So that's how you go ahead and add fonts like that that are kind of just single fonts that are kind of cool. You're looking for a specific thing like Christmas, Halloween, or Moon Cheese. You can go ahead and add those. All right, and then another place you can get a ton of fonts all at once is going to be from, just go to the App Store and type in fonts like I did up here. I typed in fonts. A whole bunch of new fonts came up here. A lot of them are free. Some of them are paid. So I just look for a free one. I mean, there's Halloween one, Christmas ones. Over here, though, there's one called 550 Royalty Free Fonts. They look kind of cool. So uh, what I did is I, I already downloaded this, but I'll open it for you because it did come up with a weird message. This is obviously in the App Store, but it gave me an option to skip registration, which I did there. And then you copied files here. If you click this button, and it tells you to select a folder to copy all the fonts to. So I did that. And I uh, just wanted to show you what I went through to get there. So then once I go into Finder, it had me create a folder. And under this folder, it created a, another folder called Free Fonts, which I, I'll click on here. And if you look at this, it created all those 550 fonts. The cool thing is, is if you actually click on the fonts and you click the space bar, you can actually see exactly how they look. See this? So as I go down, let's say I want to find a font, maybe this one. So if I, if, if, if I see it here, I can go over here to open with font book. See it over here in the upper right-hand corner? Click on that. And again, the same thing as before. This box comes up, install font. And as you'll notice here in my user folder, it's going to show that that font was added right here. Now it's added. So this is going to be usable from Keynote. So that's really, uh, you know, something that you want to learn so that you can go through the fonts really quickly and add them as you want them. The final thing is if you have over time duplicate fonts in here that get kind of duplicate added, there's one thing you can do here. So once you're in font book here, you can go up here to the top and you can click on edit here. And once you're in edit, the one thing you want to do is you can go ahead and I think it says look for enabled duplicates here. So go ahead and click on that. It says no duplicates found, but if there was some found, it'll actually let you delete some of them so you don't have a ton of duplicate fonts showing up. And, you know, over time, if you download a lot of these packages and what have you, you add a lot of fonts, sometimes you'll get into that. So that's just a little tip as well. Go out to those sites. Some of them are trusted. I, you know, I don't, I don't recommend maybe downloading some place, you know, some, from some place that you're not really familiar with because with all the viruses and things like that out there, it's pretty safe if you have a virus check. But if you don't, I would recommend sticking to some of the ones that you trust. Beyond that, though, it takes about five minutes, as you can see, and you can have the font ready to go for 
you know, Keynote, iMovie, or wherever you're going to use fonts. I mean, sometimes pages, let's say you're doing a report or something and you want a really specific font, maybe one that looks like handwriting. You can grab them from these sites. These are the ones I trust, so go ahead and give them a try. Let me know what you think. If you guys can leave some comments of some other places that you get some really good fonts from. Again, I'm just going briefly touching on them. I've gone to other places. I'm not listing them all right in this video. But if you can list some, it'll definitely help the community out. And I'll talk to everyone soon. Um, you know I make videos on Apple technology, Windows technology. I make some travel, some finance. But if you can support the channel and subscribe, it's going to help me out. I'll talk to you soon.